Guys, 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 I got a good ass transformation video for y'all. Y'all in for a big treat. We completely, completely, completely transformed my boy Emilio. I haven't seen this kid in months, y'all, since before this quarantine. I have not. And when I saw him, bro, whoo, you know me as a barber, I was excited to put my hands on that and transform him a little bit, you feel me? I was excited. I hope y'all are as excited to watch this video as I am. You're gonna see we completely transform him into a whole different person, y'all. End of the video, y'all see how just his mood completely changed. He's feeling good, he's looking good, and that's what I try to promote in this channel. We all trying to look good, feel good, we trying to grow together. It's all a process, y'all. It's all a process. Come grow with me, watch this transformation video. If you learned anything, I hope you got something out of it. And if y'all gotta say anything to me, bro, if y'all really gotta say anything to me, y'all can tell me. Y'all see I'm doing something wrong. Y'all are trying to give me some advice. I don't mind growing, y'all. That's all what this channel is about. I want y'all to see how much I've grown. I want to see how y'all grow. Let me know in the ch in the comment section below. Keep watching the video. We're at Main Shop right here. You see this logo right here? Main Shop. You heard 376A Argyle, bro. Keep watching the video, y'all. I do it for real. There's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up. Add it up. Bank roll. Bank roll. My G's, my kings, my queens, all y'all. I'm telling you, y'all in for a big surprise today. I keep spoiling y'all. I really keep spoiling y'all. My boy Emilio been here for three months without a haircut, guys. And honestly, I was so, so, so excited to just get my hands on his hair. You feel me? Right here, the first thing we're doing is a little bit of clipper over comb, guys. Only reason why I'm doing this is to remove the bulk. I usually always start off with clipper over comb to remove bulk and to create the shape of the head as well. You feel me? This is probably the best thing you could do when you're starting off with a haircut when he has too much hair. The reason why I'm doing this as well is I don't want to clog up my clippers, y'all. If I really hit it with that clipper, my clippers would have been clogged up next thing we're doing guys is our number three guard closed and we're just still removing that bulk we're just removing that bulk, bulk up to the crown of the head and as you go up y'all i don't know if you could really see it but i'm really just scooping out it's so small it's really so small of a motion that you can't really see it as much but all i'm doing is just scooping out with that right there next thing guys next thing y'all we're just gonna run our number or our actual our trimmers right 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 at the ear above the ear and then it's going down into the head so it's gonna give it like a drop fade effect you feel me that's my personal type of favorite fades i like to do i usually always drop it in the back depending on how high or low they want it and honestly though if the client just wants a straight up fade with no drop just straight across we could do that too y'all it's all about just really customizing and making your services available for those who are wanting that you know that's all it is so like i said you start from one side you start from the other side and right here all i did was connect the two sides all straight in the middle and then you just bald everything out with the same trim as you used up to that top line that you just did right there it's so that simple y'all and then once you hit it with that once you just clear all of that out you grab your foil shavers this is going to give it that really 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 skin fade effect it's going to make your haircuts stand out so much more because it's literally going from skin to the number two you feel me to the top of the hair so it's having that gradual change all the way from the bottom to the top same thing with that you just want to scoop out next step right here we got our one guard open guys and then you're just going to want to create a one inch guideline all around i usually like to start from the from one side work my way to the front and then on the other side i connect the two or i just keep working on one side but right here i am just working on one side sometimes i like to switch it up depending on how i'm feeling and my techniques for going into this fade from blending into that zero to that no guard open is i'm just slowly closing the lever every time i'm getting closer to that bottom line so let's say i did my one or my no guard 
open as my guideline. I would hit it with my no guard half open right underneath where I did that no guard open. You feel me? And then right underneath that where the line is, I would hit it with my no guard close, guys. It's just reverse fading. A lot of people fade upwards, I fade downwards. A mix of both things, you feel me? I do create my lines and then I fade downwards from there. You can see also right here guys i'm using my quarters y'all i keep preaching this use your quarters guys i'm telling you it's gonna save you so much time you're gonna be able to break up that line and not create a new line because i've been there y'all i've been there where i created where i had such a great ass haircut i was feeling nice i was feeling fresh i, I felt like i did something so good and i see one little line y'all and guess what? I messed up the whole haircut because I created a whole ass line and the fade was not proportionate all the way around, guys. And I had to move this whole fade up, y'all. Same thing with this side, guys. I'm just reverse down fading as soon as I'm getting closer to that bottom line. My low or my guard is or my uh, lever is closed. You feel me? Right here, same thing, guys. Look at that technique right there. Just using the quarters, guys. I'm telling you, all you want to do is break up that line, not create a new one. And if you choose not to do your corners like that, then guys, I'm telling you, you're going to create a new lot, y'all. Just peep how I'm doing it right here. I'm just playing with my lever, guys. I'm just playing with my lever, open, closed, midway, whatever it takes to get that line out. I don't know, guys. How do you usually start your skin fades? Honestly, guys, I never ever started my skin fades ever like this because I've always had a problem with taking that bottom line out, the one that you start off with your trimmers. But eventually, over time, y'all, it just ended up being second nature. You just gotta struggle in order for you to become better, guys. This is what this channel is about, y'all. I want all of y'all to win the same way I'm trying to win, bro. I wanna see no man left behind, no queen left behind, no G, no kings, you right? Right here, guys, I got my one and a half guard closed, and I'm still bringing that about, I want to say about an inch or so, y'all. I definitely want to say that's about an inch, and same process goes, y'all. I'm still scooping out at the end. I'm not digging into his hair because I told you we still want to have a boxed out type of cut. Right here, y'all, I am just doing a little clipper over cone so I could try to blend in as much as I can from that one and a half guard. No from one of that one and a half guard closed into that top hair right now it's not going to be perfect y'all i promise you guys it's not going to be perfect but this is just to clear off bulk now i got my one guard open and i'm just running that right underneath where i did my one and a half guard close y'all from there i'm going to go to my one guard half open and then my one guard closed as soon as i keep getting closer to that bottom line y'all as you're going to notice throughout this video guys there's been some areas especially in the back where i've had trouble taking that line out he has straight hair my boy emilio has straight hair straight hair is always a little bit of a trouble for me to be cutting y'all and a lot of people have this same problem the best thing that i can give y'all is to keep pushing through the cut and try to do the best you could do because the next time you try to cut your the same type of hair is going to come out so much better through your past experience, y'all. I got my 116th guard right here, and you're going to see right here, I'm just going to use my corners, guys. I don't want to create another line, and I'm just trying to break up that dark patch that's back there. And I understand, y'all, if these guidelines, guidelines seem a little bit too small in order to blend in two numbers within that space, right? So make your guidelines a little bigger then to give yourself enough room to do that, guys. My biggest problem in the beginning when I was doing, when I was doing all of this, when I was cutting hair, is I would always just make my guidelines way too small and then I would never give myself enough room to fade. But I promise you guys, again, once, once you guys get the whole technique of fading and doing all of that, you're going to be able to create such short blends just because you already know how to blend. You feel me? It's just going to take a little bit of a time, bro. It's just going to take a little bit of patience. But trust the process. Please trust the process. If I did not go through everything I went through, through all the struggles I went through, then I would never be able to be where I'm at right now with this level of confidence trying to help people on youtube trying to make people feel good all the time you feel me that's just what i like doing i like making people feel good you know you never know what people be going through nice haircuts always gonna make people feel way way better way better you feeling good you looking good full of confidence y'all 
and I feel like every barber should be striving to do this as well, you know? Same process goes here. I made my one and a half guard no or closed, made my about an inch of a guideline, and then I'm just fading down. I'm just fading down. I did it with my one guard you saw right there. And with my 16th guard, same thing goes. I'm just trying to use my corners in order to get rid of all those little dark spots, guys, as much as I can, y'all. And just be patient, y'all. Just be patient, guys. I promise you. I promise you, bro. I promise y'all. Please be patient. <laughs> Sometimes the client might have a little bumps and creases in their head that makes it appear like it's not faded. You keep going at it, you understand how the head is shaped and what little creases they have and all of that good stuff, y'all. Even though it might not look faded, it definitely is. Especially in the back towards my client's hair right here. I honestly thought it wasn't faded, but once you turn to the back angle, everything is faded, guys. From the side, it doesn't look like it really is, but that's because I said each client's head is individual. Each client, he each client's head is unique. Not everyone's gonna have the same bone structure, etc., etc. You feel me? So you just gotta work within that as well. You gotta let the clients know, like, yo, maybe you're, uh, uh, maybe one of the bones in your head is creating a shadow, making it look like it's not faded at all. You feel me? Right here, y'all. I got my water. I just sprayed it down real quick, and I'm just combing his hair in the natural direction that it wants to move in, y'all. You don't want to do anything too crazy unless you're styling it a specific way. Just move it the way it wants to move, y'all. And right here, y'all, I'm just doing a little bit of shears over fingers. This is not something, or er, like my other videos, I used to do four fingers all around, trying to make it as perfect as I can. But with this haircut, guys, I'm just trying to remove bulk right now. It doesn't not have to be perfect because with this type of haircut, he wants a messy, spiky, textured kind of look. And right here, I'm just doing a traditional straight cut across, trying to cut down the length of the hair on top. Afterwards, in a little bit, you're going to see that I'm actually going to start pinpointing the top so I can create that texture, y'all. And I'm just trying to make e everything as even as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, because this is a really messy hairstyle. And as I'm moving from the middle to the sides, you're going to see I'm going section by section from the front to the back, taking off any extra hairs that I don't want. You feel me? Usually, the part that is going to come up right next that you're going to see was the hardest thing I could possibly, like, try to master because you gotta blend in from that one and a half mind you from that one and a half to all that long hair there so this is what i do i go i go from the sides i start from the front work my way to the back section by section removing all those little hairs you see all those little hairs right there you don't want that the client doesn't want that hobby clips don't want that no one needs that guys you want to make sure that this haircut looks as faded as it can y'all and ultimately if it's not faded just mind, just keep in mind that the clients are coming back for you the clients are coming back for your experience for the person that you are regardless of how the haircut looks the haircut is obviously the main reason too right both of them are balanced in it they're each in their own way guys they're both balanced you should be able to go to a barber because you like the barber and because they give fire haircuts too that's just a balance that i've seen that really works for me at least you know i have a type of a personality and i could easily talk to people i feel like and that's one experience that a lot of clients really do like and if, for those that don't like it fine i can just show my ass up you know i let you experience your, your whole haircut in peace no talking or anything like that i'll do whatever the client wants you feel me doesn't mean you shouldn't talk at all it doesn't mean you shouldn't catch out just bond with your clients you feel me the same way your clients would want to bond with you you want to get to know them you feel me this is what i was talking about pinpoint cutting y'all i am just grabbing every little piece of hair and i'm just like cutting every single every other hair i'm not going straight across except for right over here where i'm trying to blend in as much as i can from the one and a half part 
open to those long hairs and I'm saying it's just so I could take as much hair as necessary it's not gonna perfectly blend it but I'm gonna start blending it with my number two guard y'all my number two guard but we're not up to that right here I am doing that pinpoint cutting y'all I'm just cutting every other hair so it gives his hair a little bit of a textured look a little bit of a messy look he it's not the type of person to wake up and want to do his hair. He just wakes up and that's it. You feel me? So even when styled, even when not styled, it's still going to come out really messy. And that's the goal with this type of haircut, y'all. And this right here is a perfect example of what I mean. Like you're just cutting every other hair using the corner of your of your scissors. Right here, I'm just doing my two guard open and I'm just scooping out as I'm going up to the crown of the head. Mind you, you still want to keep that box type shape, guys. For guys, we still want to keep that box type shape. So I'm just scooping up. I got my two guard open as I'm slowly approaching that bottom line where I left off with my one guard or one and a half guard open. I'm closing my lever slowly and slowly until I just get to that two guard close till it's 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 true two guard and then I probably still won't be able to take out the line so I'm telling you guys that's why I got my number one and a half guard open I'm just going open scooping right up and then I go to half and then possibly even go to my one and a half guard close and that's when you're really going to start seeing that transition that's when you're really going to start seeing that line disappear guys right here just go over to the other side to the back as well and try to do the best you can to start fading in that hair like i told you every client's hair is different not everyone could rock a skin fade not everyone could do different types of hairstyles it's really rare to find someone that could do every single hairstyle and make it look good your job as a barber you just have to do it and i don't know if you saw that delivery guy right there but that was the barber flag that i ordered for the shop so people could see it down the avenue like yo we're here we're cutting hair y'all can pull up going back into the haircut i just fast forwarded a little bit i'm just playing with my lever if it doesn't take anything off i'm just lowering my lever or i'm changing my guard to a lower guard you feel me that's all i'm doing and i'm still right here taking off all that extra pieces of hair that we do not need you see all that extra hair we don't need that we don't need that at all guys just do the same thing on the other side as well guys we're just still blending in all of that i do a little bit of everything guys i do a little bit of clippers over chrome i do a little bit of shears over chrome a little bit of pinpoint cutting it's all a mix of techniques guys you're gonna keep learning you're gonna keep adapting new things you're gonna know what's good for you you're gonna know what's not good for you you're gonna know what's the best for you you're gonna know what's the worst for you guys but the point is try to learn everything you can try to learn a little bit from every single person every little technique you see just keep learning there's no point of just stopping there's no point of just just not learning and growing guys because at the end of the day you're just gonna keep perfecting your craft you're just gonna keep getting better and better every single day and i would apply this with everything guys whether it be you playing video games or you taking care of a dog or whatever it is guys you're just gonna keep getting better at everything right here guys i'm doing my hook i like to start my point at the very corner and then i go with its natural sideburn and I just create that little hook like I'm drawing in with a pencil you feel me that's all it is y'all and it didn't come out that crispy right so I just rearranged that hook I just made it sharp right there just connected both sides so it's that simple going on to the hairline guys make sure you comb the hair down all those little extra hairs that you don't need comb it down guys because you don't need that you want to make that as straight as you can if you have to hit it with that one guard or that one and a half guard close with the grain downwards just to make it as short as it can and i like really using my corners when i am doing my hairline or when i'm doing anyone's hairline bro i also really like using two hairs because i have really super shaky hands no one tends to believe me but if you ever get a haircut from me you're gonna be like damn bro why damn how these looks why your hair shaking so much you know uh, but it's all good i'm still finessing cuts i'm still doing what i can in order to make sure that my work is good my artwork is good my artwork is on clients head like that is my work going around everywhere you got to take pride 
and you just gotta be proud of everything you're doing as well guys i'm just fixing up that corner because i felt like it wasn't sharp enough so i just gotta hit it up a little bit more moving on moving on to the other side of the hairline first thing i know you guys are going to notice is yo my man's hairline isn't even I know that guys, I, I really know that and I didn't know that while I was doing it until I looked at the mirror. The mirror is never going to lie to you guys. If your haircut is messed up, the mirror is going to look at you like, yo bro, that shit you did my man is dirty. You really did him dirty bro, you have no respect for people. <laughs> that ass guys, look at your mirrors always, it's never going to lie to you. Take a little break, go get some water, go outside for a little breather. Whatever Whatever it is, go, go wash your hands, whatever, change your gloves, go back to the haircut later and see if there's any spots you have to go after, guys. You keep looking at the fade, you keep looking at the blend, you're not going to see anything until you take a little break from the fade, guys. So right here, I'm just still adapting, I'm still trying to bring that hairline just a little bit up so I can match it to the other side and I'm still going at it you feel me right here I actually did move him in front of the mirror because like I said mirrors don't lie so because mirrors don't lie you just gotta keep looking at it and match it up guys that 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 was the end of the cut right here yo kings g's queens I'm telling you y'all my son was looking crispy my son was looking fresh right here you see we got the mid skin fade we got the textured top it's almost like a crop top in the back i told you he has those little bumps so it might look like it's not faded but in actuality it is we got his hairline done my son was looking crispy he was feeling crisp you're gonna see like yo this is a dope haircut you feel me even though it could be better even though obviously i could get better my son liked it he felt good he liked the experience he liked connecting with his barber aka me you feel me that's the king experience i want you to have the king experience i want you to experience and guys if you really want that king experience y'all y'all can pull up to 376a argyle road the name of the shop is main shop guys and i'll provide that for you i'll let you guys have that i'll make you guys feel confident you feel me that's all i want to do i want to help y'all out i'm just cleaning up his neck with the trimmers just 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 so he doesn't go out there walking with a hairy ass neck and a crispy ass cut guys blow drying him a little bit as well just so when he walks out the shop he wouldn't be as itchy if i didn't blow dry him you feel me it's just that extra little steps to cater to your clients that they're really gonna love and appreciate they're gonna notice they're gonna see that you're taking your time with them that's all that my clients want from me you feel me enjoy the cut guys let me know how you felt and look at how my boy was after the cut how he got up and thanked me and gave me a dab and everything that's what i want every client to feel like after a cut y'all let me know how you felt about the cut guys see you in a bit by you two guys g's kings queens is that they don't play around with the copyright i decided to leave this part unedited and then the background you had some bad bunny playing so that was my fault i'm an idiot i'm a dickhead <laughs> whatever i'm gonna repost this but anyway the reason why i left is because right here i'm hyping my boy up i'm making sure he looks good and feels good because i see it in his face i see it in his demeanor he's feeling great he gave me a dab and everything y'all and like i'm I'm just really grateful I have supporters and clients and people like him who would gladly come and want my services, you know? And honestly, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Just talk to your clients afterwards. Make sure everything is good. Like, oh, you like this? You like this? Is there anything I can do? Blah, 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 blah. So forth and so forth. You feel me? That's all about. That's all it is right here. Right here, I'm just talking about the king experience, y'all. You want me to say it one more time? The Hobby Clips King Experience, y'all. Right here, I'm about to say, you about to see it. Fucking King Experience, guys. I'm about to see you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hope you like the video. That's ISO. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got a hand.